Hi everyone. I've been talking a lot about the modern communicator lately, and that's because I recently wrote a book called Answers for Modern Communicators. And one of my last articles was how the modern communicator has to think ahead. And this is really mastering a process and taking certain action steps so you can make choices and be able to not just get unstuck with your storytelling, but share stories with more meaning, build relationships that lead to greater impact. But when you're a modern communicator, uh, as a part of the think, part of my think process, the N stands for new navigation. And that often means getting out of your comfort zone. Uh, I like to say, get into your uncomfortable zone. Uh, and then you really know that you're navigating as a modern communicator. But this takes, you know, sometimes it, it could be really stepping back and understanding that the choices you make have a compound effect. Uh, the choice could be about who you align your brand to. That could affect your reputation. Uh, the choice could be uh, using different technology and being more adventurous. Maybe it's with streaming video. Uh, getting out of your comfort zone could mean taking on new work and uh, upping your game in an area that you never thought was possible, which leads me to why I'm doing this video today. I will be joining Richard Bistrong, who is the CEO of Frontline Anti-Bribery. Uh, when Richard reached out to me to work with me, he had uh, been in prison. He was incarcerated for breaking FCPA laws and anti-bribery laws and had served some time. And when he was in prison, he read my books. And coming out of incarceration, he reached out and asked if I would help him to work on his messaging for the media uh, because there were a lot of media inquiries um, because he was out of prison. Uh, he also wanted me to help him rebuild his image online using social media. And this was one of those moments where I had to make a decision if I wanted to step out of my comfort zone. I'd never taken a, a case like this before. And even though there were folks in my inner circle who said, don't do it. What's it going to do for your brand? You know, is this something that really is going to benefit you? And all those well-meaning professionals who I love dearly, there was something inside of me that said it's time to get out of my comfort zone. And it was new navigation. It was new navigation for me as a PR professional and also new navigation for Richard, who really was on a different trajectory after uh, spending some time and really reflecting and moving forward in a new way. So Richard's going to share his journey in a Q&A fireside chat that's going to be at the Florida Public Relations Association National Conference. It's their 80th anniversary. So we have the pleasure of doing a keynote luncheon We'll be on stage. Uh, I'll be asking Richard questions about his journey, and we'll be talking about all different topics. Uh, I'm happy to say that being a part of that journey makes me feel proud, and Richard has um, certainly been on a trajectory that puts him with some of the top minds in ethics and compliance, and he now speaks all over the world and he helps companies and their employees to understand how to make the right choices. So remember, sometimes uh, stepping out of your comfort zone, step back, think hard, trust your gut, but just know as a modern communicator, you need new navigation. Thanks.